Savage Continent is a book about the aftermath of the Second World War. There's a sort of cosy myth that somehow, after the war had finished, everything kind of went back to normal. Nothing could be further from the truth. Everything that had existed before the war had been entirely destroyed. I'm not just talking about train lines and buildings and factories and so on. I'm talking about an, a whole way of life. You have to remember that the people of Europe had just experienced six years of extreme violence. People had watched the way their neighbours had behaved towards them and after the war perhaps wanted to get their own back. All of the institutions that we now take for granted, things like the government, the police force, the media, even the local post offices, all of that had been entirely swept away. So there was nobody really to, to stop a wave of crime and violence that, that took over the entire continent. So there was a lot of unfinished business after the war, and Savage Continent is about that unfinished business. It's a book about revenge, how people took their neighbours out if they'd been German or collaborators and strung them up from the local lampposts. It's a book about a power vacuum, how whole communities rose up against each other in order to fight for who was going to control their countries after the war. It's also a book about the ruthlessness with which the Allies imposed order on this lawless continent. It's a story that you won't really find anywhere else. Um, of course, there have been other books written about what life was like in post-war Germany, for example, or conditions in France or Poland, but there isn't really anything which draws together the entire continent and shows how the same themes, the same chaos, existed pretty much everywhere. The main reason why I wanted to write this book is that if these stories are going to be told, they have to be told now. The people who lived through this time uh, in the aftermath of the war are beginning to get old now. So Savage Continent is really an attempt to give these people a voice and to tell their stories before their stories are lost forever.